Hey guys, this is the post-campaign wrap-up that you guys wanted me to uh, talk to you about. So it's very short, and I'll go slow, and if you need to reference it, then you can go back and watch this video. The year is 1168, the year of the new gods. Kadok Khan and his generals have been defeated by Rhaenyra's Chosen, a party who delved into the depths of the Underdark and deep behind enemy lines. The Orc Empire is now divided into five parts, each ruled by one of Kadok Khan's son. Gorvak, the oldest, rules over the northern territory, including Ruslan and the surrounding areas. Dramzak, ruler of what was once the lands of the Grey Elves and the rebellious Yak folk and West Nijong. Zajak, rules over the homeland of the swamps and receding lands of the Elf of the Wood Elves, Wild Elves, and Genoa. Orzal, the unluckiest of the five sons, rules over the northern shining mountains and the wastelands of Mania. Talazar, Kodak's half-orc son, rules as sultan over the empire of Turkland and seeks peace with his neighbors, renaming Turkland the Talazar Empire. The drow have receded into the Underdark as a civil war brews between the followers of Lolth and the growing number of Vandria's underground. The Durgar are fighting a losing battle with the dwarves without the aid of the orcs, but treaties are in the works between Gomar, the new leader of the Durgar, and Orzal Khan. But Gomar's position is flimsy as his rivals vie for power. The League of the One Eye has gone quiet, and rumors spread that without centralized leadership, it has broken down into localized gangs. If you have any questions, go ahead and text me. Alright, bye guys.